a miss this exciting new project for RFP NYC. What is it? Oh, okay. Since you love comic books, right? I have a great new one right here. Oh, is it Batman? Is it Batman? Is it? No. Oh. NBA Thursdays. Oh, I love that series. No, wait, I'm talking about this. Oh, Django oh. Unchained. Django, they made a comic book out of it. Oh, that's... Aren't you excited? Um, yeah, you know... So you have to tell me about this comic book, because we got to do a, a, a show about this. And I have to be really enthusiastic. Uh... Aren't you, though? Yeah, I, I do. I, no, believe me, I love Django Unchained. I just, uh, the, me too. Just the movie was, uh, I mean... I, Great, right? Yeah, the movie was awesome. I just don't get adaptations all that much. You don't? No, I, I don't. Like, I, the last adaptation I read was Good Burger. Like, I just, uh, I don't get why Tarantino would make something into a comic so fast. Oh, wait, look, here's his foreword. Yeah, look, forward where he tells us, like, why he's doing it. Okay. Not only do I love comic books, I especially love money. I mean, Western comics. Really? Like, That's why? Yeah. Something I should be upfront about. I am to Quentin Tarantino movies as Quentin Tarantino is to feet. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so this is, uh, this is what we have to review next. Yeah, but we want a positive review. Yeah, I just, I don't know about positive that. Positive review. I don't know. The story takes place two years before the start of the Civil War about a slave named Django that becomes a bounty hunter to save his wife from the clutches of her slave owner, Calvin Candy. Poised to stop him, his antagonists are the entire fucking South. In the foreword, QT says Django Unchained is an epic tale, and just as with any epic, anything from chapters to big set pieces sometimes need to be cut out to save time. All the material that didn't make it into the movie is now preserved in the comic book story. R.M. Guerra is the illustrator. He's already got a few Western comics under his belt, like Scalped, which is a must-read, and his signature heavy black brush style works unsurprisingly well in this pre-Civil War story. Although it's safe to assume that everybody who reads the comic has seen the movie already, the comic has its own spin on the same exact screenplay. Look, it's an entirely different experience from the film and not just a cheap Hollywood imitation. The characters are not based on the likenesses of the actors from the film. Uh, blocking is different, character expressions, body language, even the comedic timing and overall pace are so unlike the movie that it was almost jarring on my first read through. You ain't got nothing better to do than to come into Bill Shop's town and show your ass. <laughs> Keyword being almost. Wait, this, this is like the whole, the historical event. Yeah, it's very historically accurate, except for the past, except for the fact that they don't know how to use branding irons in this. But it's really accurate that happened? Yeah, they, it happened. They used to do, I just mean that, look at this. Like when, it, if it's just a square plate like that and you put it on a runaway's face, all they're going to have is just a solid block of burnt flesh. It should have been just the R so that the R comes out. Oh. So screw it. It's not historically accurate. So, so wait, so what, what was playing. he trying to say? Is he like, he's trying to... Well, how many, how, many, uh, how many Westerns can you count that were based on slavery? Or how many movies can you count that were based on slavery at all? I don't watch black and white movies. Is it like old movies? I like the way you die, boy. 